Hello, everybody! <laughs> I was trying to come up with a good, funny sentence to open up this video with, but I sort of messed it up already at the uh, at the very start right there by saying hello, everybody, instead of hello. Or good day, everybody. I kind of tried to mix those two. Anyway, it's going to be another live game of Zerk vs. Zerk. Today, it is going to be against a guy named Walkman. He's being very polite to me already, which is sweet of him. Um, it is going to be on overgrowth, um, meaning that um, I could actually go for the gasless build order that I've recently been doing a lot, but I'm feeling a bit cheesy today. I'm feeling a little bit cheesy. I'm thinking of going for a Zerkling all in, okay? Uh, letter? Yes. <laughs> I don't know, I'm lettering. I don't know about him. I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, but we will see. Um, okay, have fun. Um, what what did he mean with ladder? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna try and teach you the um, the most basic of basic all-ins that you can do as a Zerg player. And many people will know it um, as a Zergling, a Speedling all-in. Um, how did they call it again? Like the Jerry build or something? I believe that's how it's known. Or like the North American ladder. Uh, as well as the Southeast Asian one, like the Australian ladder. Because apparently there was a guy on there that was called uh, Jerry who was doing the same build over and over and over again in Zerk for Zerk, and he used to be Grandmaster. But well, something like that, something like that. Anyway, it's gonna be a 15 spawning pool, 15 gas geyser, and a 15 hatchery. Wow! <laughs> you could have come up with that yourself, right? 15 pool, 15 gas, 15 hatchery. Very, very easy to do. And once we mine 100 gas, we just pull the drones off the gas geyser, and start zerkling speed, and from there on out, with the first two queen and jacks that pop off, and the third and the fourth one as well, we just make a ton of fucking speedlings. That is kind of the idea. I do do this build every now and then. Uh, most of the time, people are too good nowadays to uh, to lose with it, but we will see. Sometimes builds just come back around in the meta game because uh, things are so extremely unorthodox um, that uh, that sometimes it just catches a player off guard. So we will see what happens. I've uh, started my queen up right there as soon as possible. Uh, I'm gonna start the second one as soon as possible as well. Another overlord going up right now. And he looks to be... He looks to actually have gone for a hatchery first, so that's nice. Means that he can't really compare the gas timings. Uh, or the, uh, the the hatchery timings on the low ground to config to figure out whether or not I... Spend a little time, bit of time to get a gas guys up, so that's nice. So I got a couple more, uh, couple more um, dronies. And I'm gonna start... Zerking speed, pull the drones off the gas geyser. And start a second queen right as soon as I can. Putting one drone right there to the natural. The reason for that drone is quite simply um, to make him think that I'm still making drones. <laughs> it's a little bit cheeky, I know, I know. But we're showing him this drone and he's like, oh, okay. So he is still making stuff, right? But in reality, we're making overlords in preparation for this, uh, for this push. Um, now, I don't know if this overlord of his is on the high ground, it could be. And he's trying to scout me out right now, which is quite annoying. Um, but we should be fine. Gonna start a whole lot of Zerklings. Oh, he's actually nice enough to attack me there. I think I could kill it. Yes, he couldn't see it. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. See how risky that, <laughs> see how risky that is right there. I literally risked the entire game on a Zerkling attacking my queen. <laughs> Not a very good high level strategy, but fun to execute every now and then. Okay, rallying right there, waiting for link speed to finish up. As you can see, uh, I got a ton of Zerklings already. And there we go, run, run my little Zerklings. Run to your deaths or to victory. Okay, uh, I have no follow-up from here. I could follow it up if I do significant damage, but I'm really trying to put all my axe in one basket right now, and I think it works. I think it works. I'm gonna split up a couple of them, uh, make sure I actually take on that spine crawler, and I'm just rallying more and more Zerklings. That is my strategy, to rally Zerklings. I hope he doesn't have Bane Links. I don't think he will, because that would be kind of an awkward timing on his side. And I think it actually worked. He's it going for an Evo Chamber? What the fuck? Okay, Evo Chamber builds are also very unorthodox. Um, probably what he's trying to do is get plus one armor up. And actually, uh, like, kill me like that, but that's going to be very difficult for him. I'm still just rallying more and more units. 
Um, and right now it's okay for me to engage. I got plenty and he says DJ! So I managed to win that one as well. Very easy to execute build order. I never made a video about this one, I don't think. Um, but yeah, if you want to give it a try, I would definitely recommend you do so. Let me know in the comment section right below that like button if you enjoyed the video and if you're gonna give this build order a try, okay? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you will be the next one to get a notification as soon as I upload a new video. And other than that, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh! 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 Oh!